Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. You're a one-hit wonder. I'm so happy you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, where the heck have I been? <laughs> That's a long story. I have been here, like not there, but here. Things have been happening. Lots and lots of things have been happening. Uh, to make a parodically long story short, not heady has gotten engaged and guess who she made her matron of honor <laughs> ah! because of that um and the fact that her fiance lives in another state we drive back and forth a lot of the time that i had been you know set aside for filming videos editing and uploading and all of those things has now been sort of you know realigned uh, to be there for not Hetty and her affianced. I was hoping last month that I would be able to get back into the regular pattern of things, which is why I had posted a video and I even recorded a video at the beginning of, the sep of September. I edited it. I just never uploaded it because some of the information became immediately outdated as soon as I had recorded it. So there's that not making excuses. I'm just telling you that that's what's going on. And I'm really hoping that from here on, I will be able to get somewhat back to my regular schedule. In the meantime, if, if you miss me, if I haven't posted in a little while, if you are new and you've not watched any of my older videos, it would help me out tremendously if you did watch those videos because it helps keep my watch hours up. And YouTube does pay me like little bitty like pennies for each time that you watch the videos. And well, all of those little pennies do help to support, well, nothing. It, it really supports nothing. But it makes me feel like I'm doing something and this year for my anniversary, which was September 25th is our 25th anniversary. <laughs> I was able to actually use my YouTube funds to purchase a gift for my husband for our anniversary. Okay. I really like that. There's just something about not using your husband's money to buy him something, even though it's not the same. It's not different. It's just, it's a mental thing. All right. I'm going to make this sort of a update, blah, 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 but also kind of my monthly LP. Because everything in September was wah, um, I did not do near as much as I was planning to or hoping to. With that being said, um, September, September 30th marked the end of the I Love the 80s make along for 2024. I know, I know. I look forward to it every year. And this year I totally dropped the ball on it. And I am not so happy about that. I'm still doing the hip to be square now. I did make squares for September and I will show them to you now. There's this one, like just navy and also navy. This one. and this one and when i tell you i recorded the video i even did the flip the calendar for september and this is the square that i chose to go with last month's photo i may or may not have editing jackie pop that in i don't know i'm really i love editing videos it does kind of take more time to edit than it does to record and in doing that trying to get back into the rhythm it may not be as heavily edited as usual. Nothing against editing Jackie, but you know, she's kind of taken to the drink a little. So we'll just hope that she's in a good mood and can do, you know, can, can do crochet DHD ness, whatever. Anyway, so those were my three squares for September. Um, it's see, oh, also, if you notice my thumbnail, see, every LP, I always have my handy dandy notebook. However, 
my handy dandy notebook, apparently found out that I'm going to be matron of honor. And in doing so, becoming matron of honor meant that I had to have a wedding planning notebook. And so now that I have this, my crochet notebook has gone AWOL. Um, I really miss her and she needs to know that it is okay for her to come back home. Any misunderstandings that we may have had is on me. I totally take responsibility for that. Um, I just, I just need her to know that I love her. I miss her and I need her to come back home. All right. Uh, on to finished objects. Again, I'm not even doing the do -do 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 -do. I'm just moving right along because there's not a lot and I'm not going to take a lot out of your day. I miss y'all. Just please know that. Lamb fam, y'all are awesome. I've had people contacting me to make sure that I'm okay, that, you know, I hadn't heard from me in a while. And I have been kind of posting things on Instagram, but I also realized that a lot of my YouTube family is not on Instagram or even Facebook. So if you haven't been kept abreast of things, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I do sometimes even put stuff in the uh, community tab. But I know, again, if you're watch on TV, you can't access the community tab. I get it. I totally get it. Moving on. My only finished object for the month of September was my I Love the 80s make along project. Whew. I created a shawl. I called I, I I'm saying it was a, a I'm saying I created the shawl pattern, which I know that that doesn't necessarily mean that I created it. It's just I didn't use a pattern when I made it. So that's kind of the vibe I'm going with. So it's kind of like the granny square or the granny stitch shawls that I have been making forever and ever. Except this time, instead of doing it in uh, clusters of three, I did clusters of two. I used all this is all yarn from We Crochet. Their fingering weight yarn. It's a combination of the We Crochet Static and the We Crochet Stroll. And I used the mini stroll pack and also was the Static, which I think it was called like Midnight Madness or Mo Moonlight Neptune. It was either a planet. It has something to do with something solar. I think it was Neptune something. Editing Jackie, please. Just just this. If you don't want to do anything else, just please put the pr proper name of this yarn. I, I know it's, again, I know it's We Crochet Static Yarn. I introduced to you, I guess that's why they call it the Blues Shawl. Because of copyright issues, I can't actually play a clip from that song. But if I post this on Instagram as a reel, I will absolutely use the song. Okay. Anyway. Love this. I have not blocked it yet. But I absolutely love the drape. And the colors together. Amazing. Amazing. And I'll give you an up close so you can see the stitches that I used. And if this is already a pattern like that exists known to the world of crochet at, in by large, no, at large, at large, let me know as I was working on it. I just call it like the two by two, the two by two stitch. Um, I was kind of inspired by a scripture in the Bible where Jesus said that he would send out his people two by two. So that was sort of the inspiration as far as why I decided to do the stitches two by two. Plus I was actively trying to get away from doing the granny stitch, even though I still love myself a granny stitch. Uh, next work in progress. Well, um, the only thing after I finished the shawl, I just picked up something that had already been kind of waiting and I know I've shown it before, but since I have been working on it more recently, I'm going to show you where I'm at. So this is a scrap blanket that I am making for not Hetty. 
to keep in her car. I almost always need a blanket when I go somewhere and sometimes I'm driving and I have a blanket in the car that I can take and sometimes she's driving and there's not a blanket. So I'm making a blanket. This is inspired by a strawberry. Yes, Granny is making her appearance again. So here is this. And as far as the strawberry, mainly starting with the second set, uh, we have the brown and the green of the stem. Then we have like the light pink or the white part that's at the top of the strawberry. And then it just gets slowly pinker until we get to the darker pink and then it just repeats. And that's what I'm gonna do until I run out of yarn. And this is all scrap yarn from Joanne, Big Twist, 100% acrylic. Blah, blah, blah. I started working on it again while I was at the hospital with my husband. Not, he wasn't in the hospital. He, he had a procedure done. You know, it's a whole lot of waiting. So this is what I was working on. Next, whip the granny, the scrap granny shawl. Can y'all tell that without my notebook, I am just like, blah. I think I put a stitch marker here, which is where I was, was last, when I last showed you. Oh, okay. So since then, really it's just the blue, like two rows of blue that have been added since I last showed you. And see, I'm saying that and realizing that I didn't actually upload the video from last month. So... Um, it was probably much smaller since the August version. So probably somewhere in here, maybe somewhere around here. That is my whips. What? So let's see. I've done my FO. My whips. Now, guess what? <laughs> oh, it's time to flip the calendar hey 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 flip the calendar uh, uh, uh. all right it is now well into october and this calendar still says september so let's get to it two one i don't hear any oohs and ahs are there oohs are there ahs let's see Ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is absolutely everything autumnal, all things autumn. Yes, yes, and yes. Love, 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 love. Still some green. Perfect. Of course, outside my house, it's still mostly green. And maybe I'll even pop in some footage right there so you can see what October looks like in my neck of the woods. All right, to the jar. But this color is like, it's got green and it's kind of got some orange in it. And then there's red, which is not in here at all. But if you look at the one on the front cover, it's still not red. But I'm going to use this color anyway. It's my game, my rules. Yay! And usually after I do the flip the calendar for my calendar inspiration, I also take a peek at Judy from Judy's Creations and Crochet at her inspiration photo. And I have seen it. I don't remember. So I will definitely, right there, I'm feeling like it's one of these two that will work because i am in wedding brain mode and we've been trying to choose colors for not hetty's wedding and it's kind of gone navy blue eggplant no navy blue aubergine i know aubergine eggplant same thing no navy blue plum and uh, eucalyptus to navy blue eucalyptus slash sage and 
rust. So colors are like everywhere in my head right now, but I'm fairly certain this feels like the right color for Judy's inspiration photo. Or it's this one. I feel like there's like a burgundy something. So one of these two. And if none of these match, then I don't know. I will obviously pick a color that goes with that. But I hope I'm hoping that my, my brain is not just playing tricks on me. All right. Future plans. Well, let's see. Since I have been away from YouTube, I've been away from YouTube. Like I haven't even watched like my regular YouTube videos. And, you know, I have like a, like a schedule. I watch these people on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. I watch these people on Tuesdays. I watch these people on Thursdays. None of that. None. I've done none of that. It's not even like, like I have been watching some like, you know, DIY wedding related videos and stuff on my personal channel because for not Hetty's wedding, we're definitely doing a lot of DIY from the bouquets and the, actually no everything. Um, her theme is like woodland. The wedding is going to be February 1st. So I know, I know what some of you might be thinking, Burr, February 1st. Um, however, Louisiana, February could mean Burr or rain showers or burr rain showers or we could be wearing shorts. I do know that it, it will be gray because we do absolutely have gray in February, Louisiana. We're going to have, we definitely need to work on some contingency plans in case it is raining. Also, if, 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 if. If anybody would like to support Not Hetty and her fiance, by the way, Not Hetty's name is Emily and her fiance's name is Chris. They are registered at several places, uh, Walmart, Target, Amazon. Uh, anyway, I'll put a link in the description as well as. I could put it on the screen. I think it, they have like a link tree. So like you can go and see all of their things in one spot. They are getting, um, an apartment. Well, he's like, okay. So he lives in Texas, you know, she's here um, and they will be living in Texas after they get married. So he's going to be getting, a an apartment for them to live in. They're going to need like everything. Right. I mean, you think just like, I don't know, traditional newlywed. And I'm saying traditional, like you're going to have to go back to like black and white television, kind of traditional, They're not living together or anything like that. So they're starting from scratch. So if anybody would like to help, that would be great. And she would absolutely appreciate it. And y'all know not Hetty is, see, I'm not going to stop calling her not Hetty. I might slip every now and again and say her real name which is weird because for the last two years I have not done that. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. But anyway, she absolutely would appreciate it. Her fiance would appreciate it. And I would totally appreciate it because y'all again are awesome. And I know that y'all love not Hetty as much as y'all love me and blah, 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 blah. I can't even remember what. It's, oh, stuff I got. <laughs> All right. For the last two months, I have not gotten any yarn. <laughs> A few moments later. I'm fine, y'all. I'm fine. Not a single skein. Not a single skein of yarn. Y'all have not nothing. But that's fine. For my anniversary, my husband. Oh, he said, well, you know, usually throughout the year, you drop hints on the things that you want. And he knows, he knows better than to buy me yarn unknown about, like, you know what I mean? Like, he can say, here, baby, here's, here's somebody, go buy some yarn. Or, hey, let's sit down and pick out some yarn. But he will not, like, sit down, pick out yarn for me, because he knows better, right? 
Like that's, that's a, that's a very personal thing. That's, that's, that's very, that's very intimate. That's, that is like the most intimate form of intimacy. And even after 25 years, we're not there as far as the yarn thing. What did he get me? <laughs> he got me a wooden swift. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. I just found a place for it. But look at this, look at this knob right here. This, it feels like something. And then you got this part right here, you know, it makes, it makes it go up uh, and down. Yay, hubby. And he, apparently he bought it quite a while ago. Um, like so many of us, when we buy gifts early in the year, and we hide them so that the intended recipient does not discover them, we have a tendency to forget. And so that's what happened. Also with the gifts that I gave my husband, I did forget three of them. Um, he's gotten two of the three. I just found a third item the day before yesterday and it has to be a symbol. And the saddest part of that is to me is that was the last thing I had purchased. I remembered all the other things. Just the last one I forgot about. One more thing I got. As you know, this, this episode has definitely been very not heady is getting married heavy. So her fiance, they were shopping at a thrift shop, which is their favorite thing to do. I love that, right? Love that. Well, they found something and he picked it up and he said, oh, your mom's going to love this and I'm getting it for her. I was like, OK. <laughs> this calendar is an 18 month calendar. It's 80s flashback, right? But it's from 2022. Do I care? No. I'm opening it right now for the first time so I can show you the awesomeness that is this calendar. The original tender. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. How we blocked people in the 80s. Okay, I can't use this one for color inspiration because there's not a whole lot of color. This one right here, not only does it evoke a memory, but there is a sound, a feel, and a smell associated with this one. <laughs> As a person who was bullied heavily from junior high to high school, yeah, I really thought there, there was going to be a permanent... Uh, dodgeball print on the side of my face. Moving on. Love this. Love this. If anybody knows where I can find one of these, or if anybody has one of these that they don't need anymore, let me know because I love this game so much. It just they just don't make them like that anymore. Ooh hoo hoo! How many of us have left DNA on one of these bad boys? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. This one is another one that not only evokes a memory and a sound, but definitely a smell. I don't know who invented jellies, but I feel like they were apparently at one point married to the people who invented candies. Do you remember candies shoes? I got a pair. I don't remember how I... Oh, how I came into possession of a pair of candies, but my mother refused to let me wear them because she said, and I quote, that I will fall and bust out all of my teeth. And of course, you know, my mom didn't really know what she was talking about because she was only, I don't know, she was only in her thirties. So she had no idea what she was talking about when she said that. And so I put them on and I was wearing these pants. They were black velvet Picture Sandy from Greece at the end of the movie, 
like those kind of pants except velvety and candies wooden shoes and then me falling flat on my face i guess at this point now i can admit to my mother that she may have been right that candy shoes should not have been worn ever <laughs> okay <laughs> Do you remember recording stuff off of TV or movies or whatever? And they had like the, the VCRs had the little number thing so that you could like, like we would record a movie starting at zero, right? And then when we would record the second movie on the same tape, we would put the number, you know, so that we knew where to start the next movie. Yeah. <laughs> the most fun you'll ever have getting hurt. So for all of my friends who whose parents were affluent enough to afford an actual slip and slide, let me just say to you, congratulations. Uh, my parents were less affluent, so our slip and slides were black, and they also had like some Dawn dishwashing liquid applied to the black surface uh, and then after we had a fun day of playing slip and slide we would take our slip and slide and line the trash cans with it because that's their original purpose so growing up in the 80s this was your gofundme oh this is just wrong okay i mean it's right but it's so wrong I love the Atari. And ADHD moment coming, boys and girls. I used to chew on the, you know, because like on the joystick, that, that little piece came off, that rubbery piece. I used to chew on it. There were bite marks all over. And like, we blamed it on the dog. And my parents would have totally believed that if we actually had, had a dog. And I can still feel the sensation, the sensation of chewing on the joystick. Confession is good for the soul, I've been told. The original fidget spinner. I solved many a Rubik's Cube, and I was doing well until they stopped using stickers for the block colors and started making the whole piece that color. It made it a little more challenging to actually solve a Rubik's Cube for me. And while I was in Germany, as a kid, okay, so in the 80s, I was in Germany, and we didn't have, there wasn't a Rubik's Cube. I had something that was like, it was a barrel shape. It was never the same after that first twisty whatever, because barrel shape is definitely taking Rubik's Cube to a whole new level. Oh. If I could go back to a classroom, I can't even read the knuckle. What does that say? The knuckle destroyer 3000. Why do they always have it on the wall, but right like in the corner? So like, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. But sometimes you remember when it was like the first day of school or you're the new kid in the class or whatever, and you wanted people to see your outfit, you got up and sharpened your pencil. The bam, the bam, the bam, the bam. And you had to get real creative, right? And then you would just like, you would sharpen it this way so as not to bang your knuckles into the... Say what you will, Gen X kids were very creative, very inventive, and also very durable. We survived a lot. Found my 80s iPod in the attic. <laughs> uh, went to a party that was like themed for different decades. And one of the um, decorations that they had was like, a, it was a cardboard boom box. And there was this little kid that wanted it. And I wanted it. And because I'm a good person, I was like, okay, you can have this. If you could tell me what it is. 
<laughs> he didn't know what it was. According to the rules of the playground, I should have been able to keep it because I knew what it was, what it was used for, and how to actually display said device. He knew nothing except that he wanted it. He didn't even call dibs. I called dibs. It, by all intents and purposes, for all intents, but by all, again, laws of the playground, it belonged to me. But I was the bigger person, both in integrity and in height, so I let him have it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Because according to the cease and desist order, that's all I'm allowed to say. So this is the calendar that my future son-in-law purchased for me because he had a feeling that I would like. <laughs> I don't like it. I love it. And I will display it. Again, I might not use it for color inspiration next year because it seems to be a lot of black and white. But trips down memory lane, done. Smells evoked from memories, done. Emotions evoked from memories, done, done, and done. Awesome gift. It almost makes up for the fact that I haven't had any new yarn. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. All right. Um, I have to choose a prize for both June and September as far as the hip to be square mouth prizes go. And also, I am going to choose a winner uh, for the I Love the 80s Mal. I have so missed y'all. Y'all, well, I think about y'all all the time. And I'm like, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video. Then I'm, sli uh, then I'm sleepy. Then I'm sleepy. Then I'm sleeping. Then I'm not sleeping, but I'm not here. And, uh, you know, the, all the things. So, may this be the beginning of a renewal, a resurgence, if you will, of Jackie and Crochet ADHD. If I covered everything, I feel like I did. I feel, I feel good about everything. I'm going to say, ta-ta. Uh, <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, please like this video. If you want to stick around and become a member of the Glam Fam, you can do that by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget to rock that notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jackie.